for doctors and patients, and we will work and push for health care reform that will increase access, lower cost, improve patient and treatment outcomes. Now, one other thing before I turn this over to Jennifer, uh, Senator Bitter had a town hall meeting in Port Island Thursday, excuse me, Monday. We're having 19 town hall meetings in this month, so they kind of run Yay. together. And we are having one uh, just by way of announcement in Kenner at the Pontchartrain Center, 2,000 seats at 2.30 Friday. And Senator Bitter is going to be joined by two uh, medical doctors. One's a senator, one's a congressman. And it will be a health care forum at the Pontchartrain Center in Kenner at, at 2.30. But one of the things that Senator Bitter said in Port Allen Monday, and you may have read this in the paper, you never hear it addressed. One of the greatest reasons that our health care costs are so high is because we need tort reform. And, uh, but you don't hear that coming out of D.C. Nobody's talking about that. And yet that would drastically lower our cost. So we believe that should be included. And again, I want to thank you for coming out here. I know that Senator Vitter appreciates uh, the support you're giving to this group. And I hope that we'll all unite together because I think something's happening. Washington has awakened a sleeping giant. And I think people are getting angry. They're getting upset. And they don't want this shoved down their throats. But we cannot go to sleep. As Senator Bitter said Monday, do not go to sleep. This use of the word co-op, the devil's in the details. That could be another form of government care. We've got to watch it carefully. So again, thank you for being here today. I'm glad y'all could use our parking lot. And if we can ever serve you in any way, uh, please contact our office. I'm going to turn this over now to Jennifer Grigsby. And Jennifer, we appreciate you. She has a wonderful story. She's the executive uh, director. And she has a wonderful story about her own child. And I want you to share that with her. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer Grigsby, thank you, Director of American Majority, Louisiana, and I know a lot of you in this crowd today. I'm excited to see all of you out here. And normally you know me to look for activists and try to identify candidates to run for office. But today I want to speak to you as a concerned citizen and a concerned mother. I have a son, and he just turned four years old, August 14th. And my son is stricken with a mitochondrial disease. What that is, when we take in food, it turns to fuel in our body and energy in our body. My son's does not do that. So he is multi-organ and multi-system de deprived. It's his brain, his heart, his intestines, and his muscle, his skeletal muscles. So he has a hard time and has since birth. Three weeks ago, he was in critical care in a Texas Children's Hospital in Houston. And I understood at that moment the importance that we cannot allow this to pass. As a mother, I took my child to a specialist in Houston. His ammonia levels were sky high and his brain was swelling. So if we were on ration care, would he be alive today? Probably not. And if he was, he would be a vegetable. So I am very, you know, adamant about this. I want parents, I want sisters, mothers, brothers, grandparents to have control over who we see, who our children see, and our own health care. I think it's very important for all of us here today to keep fighting, keep going out to rallies, keep letting your congressmen and senators know how you feel. We have wonderful little fans and also little signs if anyone's going to reserve tomorrow please come by and pick these up and wave those in the crowd thank you thank you i just want to share that story with you i'm going to turn it over to kevin kane he is the president of the pelican institute 